In this Aurora 3D animation review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this software. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Aurora 3D animation. Now Aurora 3D animation is a software that lets you create 3D assets or even text in an easy way. So this is what you should see once you first open up the software. Once you've downloaded it and opened it up, you should be greeted with this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature showing what this software has to offer. So again, overall, it is just kind of like a 3D text animation styling software where you can go ahead and just animate your 3D text, which is a pretty cool software in my opinion, and I'm excited to go ahead and jump into this. So as you can see, once you actually load up the software, once it's installed, you should be greeted with this page. Now it says police select a template whether you want to do animation text logo or even just buttons in general so four different options there for you to choose from and if you go ahead and go through them you can see all the different types of templates that this software has to offer and they're all actually pretty really well designed so even if you're just a beginner you can go ahead and jump straight into it which is a feature i personally really love in the animation section you can see there's tons of templates for you to go ahead and scroll through in the text templates pretty much the same thing you can go ahead and see if there's loads of different text templates in the logos, same thing as well, and then finally the buttons. All the way at the bottom, you can actually open an existing file or even a recent file in case you actually have been on this software before and you're more of a professional. And then also just some other settings at the bottom, whether you want a black background, new blank, or even just okay and close. If you don't want to actually use any of these templates straight off, and you want to start designing on this workspace at the back. So we're going to go ahead and actually select a template just so we can go ahead and dive into the features of how to actually go ahead and customize one. And then we'll see how this workspace actually works and how well it actually is configured. So I'm actually going to go with this Fox Story one because it is like a play on to Toy Story, which is a pretty cool design that I think is really great. So once you've selected your design, you can click OK and you should then have your design. So we now have our kind of cloud background where our text should start coming up once the animation has started. To go ahead and preview your animation, you can go down to these four buttons at the bottom, which is start, pause, and then forwards and backwards. And if we just click play, as you can see, our toy story or fox story logo has appeared and then using this little icon here or this little bar you can actually scroll back and forth to each segment of how this animation actually goes ahead and works so as you can see as i scroll back the animation kind of rewinds and then as i scroll forward it goes ahead and just plays the animation so overall a very well made animation it's great that it's already been well made so you can go ahead and kind of get your head around it just before you jump into actually making your own animation so you're not really confused and again, a feature I personally really love is that feature. So overall, this animation is 10 seconds. You can see all the different details down at the bottom of this workspace, just like delete, plus, undo, etc. You can go ahead and change all of that. But the main sections is on the left hand side, above on this bar, and then on the right hand side where we have all of the properties. So there's a lot to go ahead and jump into, and we're gonna go ahead and just rewind this bar like I just did before, so we can pretty much see what we're actually working with. So if we actually go ahead and just click on it, we can see our actual design or 3D animation in the middle or 3D asset can actually be clicked on. You can move it about, which is a really cool feature. Same with the story text. Each individual text is actually already been made individually. Again, you can move this about, or even actually if you double click it, it actually opens up this little kind of 2D text where you can actually change the text. So it's insanely easy for beginners. It's absolutely insane how easy this is to go ahead and actually just customize it to your own liking as simple as click and change, which is a feature I think is incredible and just the way this software is configured is absolutely insane. So if we want to go ahead and change some text, we can go ahead and double click it and then just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and just change these letters to reviews. So there you go, I went ahead and actually just changed some of the text. These last three had to be put together because there wasn't enough assets to go ahead and spell out reviews. But as you can see, I've made reviews for the sake of this review and you can go ahead and just move and drag it about in any way you wish. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag these over just so it's actually centered with the fox part at the top. And if we actually went ahead and clicked play, we can see that our reviews text should start coming in. As easy as that. So we now have our reviews and you can also go ahead and change this in any way you want. So you can change the text bevel height, change the text depth, the text size, shape, bevel height, no depth, and then the node size. So there's all very intricate features about this software, which you can go ahead and change 
and just kind of move and design and kind of scale. So very intricate and a very great software to go ahead and work with. You can also select on this asset in the back, move this about as well if you need to and other stuff like that. So that's pretty much the whole integration of this software. Very easy to go ahead and navigate the main workspace area or the main area where you have your preview and your 3D assets. Next, all the way at the top, we can go ahead and edit text, style brush, export, change the text sizes, whether it's bold, italic, etc. The size is right there. Colors, stroke color, bevel, all of the text options are at the top. So that's pretty much what that bar is at the top. It's a very intricate ways to go ahead and change your text so if you went ahead and just clicked on the r you can see that the aerial font actually comes up since that is what that font is if you went ahead and double clicked on it we can click change text color and if we wanted it as a red we can now have it as a red and once you click off it it's easy as that to go ahead and change it so very again straightforward and easy once you kind of get the hang of it and it's not too complicated for beginners professionals and everyone in between it's a very intricate software but very straightforward at the same time which again, I truly love those features. So if we did it with the E, change the text color, let's say to blue, and then we just clicked off it. And there you go, as simple as that, we've changed the next one to blue. If we change the stroke color, let's go ahead and change the stroke color from black to blue as well. You can see the tiny little outline on the edge has been changed to blue rather than black to kind of give that blue highlight rather than a black highlight. So spend loads of time playing about with this and making sure you kind of get your text assets right to you. You want to make sure everything is perfect for you. Spend a lot of time in going ahead and configuring this. It's a very intricate software and you want to make sure everything is good. So that's pretty much it for the top bar text area. On the left hand side, we then have the shapes and text and other assets like that. So if you went ahead and clicked on a square, went to this preview, you can now see our kind of mouse or icon has turned into a little kind of plus sign. We can then draw out a square and we now have a square being inputted into our preview that you can go ahead, move about and edit in any way you want. If we click on it, we can change the fill color to a different color like that. We can change the shape where we wanna go ahead and make it circle, a square with kind of round edges, star, etc. All of the options are at the top. So you can go ahead and input it on the left hand side, edit it at the top, and then we've got some presets and templates on the right hand side, which we'll get to in just a second. So as you can see, stuff is forming. It's a very straightforward and simple process. If you want to go ahead and make this or spend some more time on this, we could make it really well. But obviously for you guys, it would be absolutely professional because you'd spend a lot of time configuring your 3D assets. And then finally, on the right hand side, once you have finished with inputting and editing all of your sections, you can actually use some presets if you want to go ahead and start from scratch. So again, we have the templates here where we can go ahead and just click one of these templates. And as you can see, as I clicked it there, it's inputted it into the software. So now it's here, you can go ahead and customize this in any way you'd like. To delete it, you can just click Control X or you can go ahead and click right click on it and then click delete right there. So very simple, I'm just adding things and taking things away. If we click the ice one, we can double click it and change the text on it. So if we moved it down and we double clicked it and we put reviews as well, we now have the reviews in the ice style. So there's a lot to go ahead and play about with. Very intricate and a very great software to design 3D animation or 3D text animations. On the templates, again, we've also got shapes, frames, icons, lights, all different types of animations that you can go ahead and input. So if we went ahead and just clicked a light, we can also input this kind of light in the top corner or anywhere you like where you can then have that animated in. Again, to delete that, just click right click on it and then delete. If you click right click on anything, you can undo things, redo things, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete, etc. Arrange it in case you want some text to be behind others and then go ahead and lock and make it visible. Kind of just all of the kind of text designs that would be on maybe a normal document but it's animated on here. Same with the icons, same with the frames. If we were to go ahead and add a shape, let's just add the on button. And then we now have a button that we can go ahead and just kind of move about. Also, if you want to go ahead and move them about more in a 3D way, if you kind of hover over the rotate node X or this blue icon, you can go ahead and push it further back, further forward, or even spin it back and forward if you click on the red one as well. So very intricate in going ahead and animating, spin it around, and kind of just play about with it in any way you want. So we're gonna put this in the back there and we now have Fox Reviews button on or on button. Just kind of playing about with it to go ahead and show you how this works. You'd obviously make something more professional and spend a lot of time on this because it does take a lot of time and concentration to make something really well. However, it is good for beginners, like I've said, 
and really great for professionals. And there you go, that is it for the Aurora 3D animation. Now this software is really insane for animating kind of text and objects and 3D assets. And I think it's one of the best out there for a couple of features. A few features I like is how simple and straightforward this software is and how easy it is to just go ahead and use a template and kind of make it your own. You can play about this in a funny way, professional way, any type of way you want to go ahead and make 3D assets, definitely the software for that. Would I recommend this 21? Yes, I absolutely would. There's not a lot of good 3D asset design softwares out there. And this is definitely one of the best if you were to go ahead and look for them. And finally, would I use it myself? I would definitely use this myself if I ever needed to make 3D animations and I would come back to this software. Overall, 10 out of 10 software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.